In this video, you will learn about the metrics in Google Analytics. By metrics, I mean things like visits, unique visitors, and bounce rate. We'll be focusing only on the most common ones used for now. Before we talk about metrics, we need to understand how they change depending on what you are looking at. I'll get more into reports later, but for now we are on the audience overview report. So this gives us an overview of the entire website's visitors on aggregate. So it shows us these metrics on average for the entire website. But obviously, when you are looking at things as a whole, the information could be lying to you. As a hypothetical example, just because the average visit duration is one minute doesn't mean that most visitors spend one minute on the website. It could mean that a few visitors spend 30 minutes on the website and some spend zero. Due to the way it's calculated, it might be skewing the figures which I'll get more onto later. So it's important to learn how to segment data to understand what is really happening. So to do that, we would go into a different report, which we will learn more about in another video. But what I want you to see for now is how metrics change depending on what you are looking at. So now I'm gonna to go to the keywords report, which allows us to see what users typed into a search engine to get to our website. If we look at keyword two, red eyes of VST, we can see that within the date period we have selected, there have been four visits to the website using that search phrase, and that when someone uses that search phrase, the average time they spend on the website is 14 seconds. As I mentioned in my previous example about how overview statistics can lie to you, imagine now if this website only had eight visits in total, four from keyword two and four from keyword three. The average visit duration would then be one minute, 26 seconds, which wouldn't give us a clear picture about our visitors. This video isn't about how to segment the data though. So let's get back to understanding the metrics. One which you have definitely heard of before is visits. To understand a visit, it's best to understand how it starts and ends. A visit starts as soon as someone enters your website and ends when they leave. After 30 minutes of them not interacting with your website or after midnight, that same person will be counted as another visit if they return to the website after their last visit ended. As soon as a visit ends, if the same visitor returns, they will be counted as another visit. The exception to the rule is if they return to the website within a visit from a different campaign, they will be counted as another visit. Campaigns will be explained later on in the course. Unique visitors are the amount of visits that were unique within the time period selected. As an example, if a person starts and ends a visit to your website 20 times in the time period, they will count as 20 visits, but only one unique visitor. Unique visitors are good for estimating the amount of different people that use your website, but because of how Google Analytics works, it's not entirely accurate. If a person uses a different browser, computer, deletes their cache, or accesses your site from a different device, they'll be counted as another unique visitor. Page views are the total amount of times pages have been viewed by all visits. Repeated page views of pages are also counted. Pages slash visit or average page depth are the average number of pages viewed per visit. This can be a good way to measure how interested visitors are in your website or how lost they are because they are looking at so many pages when they should only be looking at one or two based on what they are looking for and how they arrived on your website. Bounce rate. Now to understand bounce rate, it's probably best you see what a bounce looks like. So I'm on Google and I've made a search and I click onto the website. In this case, it's Wikipedia, but it's irrelevant. I read this page, I can spend 10 minutes on it or one second, it's irrelevant. And I can either close my browser, close this tab or hit the back button. Google Analytics would count this visit as a bounce. So if a page only had one visit and it was just that visit, its bounce rate would be 100%. If it had that visit and another visit who went on to view other pages, the bounce rate would be 50%. An important thing to know is that time is not counted when a visit bounces, as time is only counted from one page to another. So if a page had a 100% bounce rate and 100 visits, the average time on page would be zero, even if someone might actually spend time reading the page. But generally, bounce rate is something you want to keep as low as possible. Most people ask, what's a good bounce rate? But it all depends on what you are doing. For example, this website, audio.com, offers only a few free products, 
which are downloads. So having this bounce rate at 50% is actually quite good because most people will search a product they want and then go on the page and download it and then leave straight away. If you have a website that you expect people to interact a lot with, having a high bounce rate, say 60, 70, 80%, would suggest it's time for you to have an investigate. We'll get much more into bounce rate in later videos. Average visit duration is the average time of a visit and is calculated by adding the total time of all visits divided by the amount of visits. As I said before, Google can only start tracking after the visitor has visited more than the first page. So this isn't entirely accurate. Percentage new visits is an estimate percentage of visitors who visited the website for the first time compared to ones that have returned.